Hello, everybody. Shh. Jude, Jude, Jude. Shh. Mommy's live. Okay. I'm just going to see if anybody's going to jump on. It won't be a long one. I say that a lot. And then I end up being on here like an hour. But I'm not planning an hour. Just a little something, something. Say hello, people. Hello. Say hi, hi, people. Hi, people. Say my name is June. My name is June. How old are you? I'm June. How old are you? I'm two. You're not two anymore. How old are you now? I'm three years so old. There you go. Three years old. <laughs> there you go. Good job. Well, two and two. That's not three. One, two. 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 You are three. Three. Let's show three fingers. One, two, three, it's three fingers. Four. Like three fingers. Oh, that's four. Oh, that's four. Perhaps we came on at a not so good time. I don't see anyone on right now. On right now. We'll wait. I didn't announce this, you guys. It's just me popping up. Okay, go play. Here, look. There you go. No, that's for the dogs. Go play. No. Jude, go play. Okay, you're going to take a nap. You're going to take an early nap. Well, then go play now. Go get your playing in. Go play with your trains and your tracks before it's time to take a nap. Okay? And I'll come back and play with you. Go play. So I'm here. Oh, I see somebody is here. I'm here. Oh, we're getting people. Ask any questions that you have. How has it been going? Thursday is the drawing. Thursday. I have Thursday I will have the drawing for a Dada puppet. So I'm gonna do that on Thursday at um, noon my time. So Central Standard Time, or if you've been so conditioned with how Dada gives time, GMT minus five. <laughs> so noon, my time, Central Standard will be the, the drawing. Shh, dude, go play, go play, baby. And so I just decided to pop on today just to answer any questions. You guys, he was quiet. He was playing. Into, oh, we don't have any more Pop-Tarts. We don't have any more Pop-Tarts. He was quiet and playing until I logged into this. <laughs> so I know a lot of people, I don't see, I hope I'm, I don't, I don't think anyone's chatting with me. I don't see any, any chats. I don't see anything. Okay. Okay, yeah. Just want to make sure everything was visible. So, ah, here we go. Now we have some. I didn't see them at first. Yes. Hi, how are you? Sh snowing here in New Jersey. Ooh. Ooh, no, no. In Oklahoma, it's cold, but it's not snowing. It's sunny. There's no snow. It's just a little cold. What's the? I didn't even check the temperature. This is one of the things, like, when you work at home, you don't be checking temperatures and stuff. It's 49 degrees. 49 degrees right now. So it's, it's a little cold, but no snow. No. It, it's really sunny. 
Like if you look outside, looks will be deceiving. Quintina, you said I want one of those. Yes, the drawing for the Dada Bears will be Thursday. So two more days, two more days, and we'll do the drawing. So I got my names. I got to, I need to get like a, some something to put those names in. Because every time a name, you know, someone checked in, I wrote it down and, and put it on a little slip of paper. And I have them all in like this Ziploc bag. <laughs> so I need to put it in something so I can draw a name. Erica. Hi, Erica. Sharon. Hi, Sharon. I am doing great. I, you know what? I'm going to say I'm doing great. I only had two hours of sleep last night because little man slept in the bed with us and rolled and coughed and massaged my eyeballs. Like his hands were like this. You know how like when kids reach over and his hands were like this on my eye, like get off. Of me. <laughs> how do I get in on the drawing? There's a video on my channel where shh, daddy is at work. You know this. There's a video on the channel that has, um, it talks about the new year appreciation. Jude, stop. You know that everyone's at school, daddy's at work. You know this. He, you guys, he's in rare form. Like I said, I only got two hours of sleep. I don't even know why he's up. He should be like having a super nap right now, but. Stop. Stop. Or you're going to take a nap now. So just wait. <laughs> so anybody have any questions about anything? You guys know that I'm still with Dada. I am still with Dada. I have a full schedule with Dada. So like, so let's see. I work. I do Dada's on Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. Saturdays and Sundays. So five days a week, I'm with Dada. Full, you know, like all the, what is it? The the prime time or whatever, full with Dada. And then on Tuesdays and Fridays, I reserve that for Bling ABC. But you guys, I haven't started teaching with Bling yet. So they have, you know how schools have quarters. Like there's first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, you know, two quarters in each semester. That's how Bling ABC does. Wania, you said your application is pending with, with Bling ABC? Well, see, I've started everything. Like I've already passed everything. I've gotten the contract. It's just they told me that the next, the next, um, they call it term. The next term starts March 11th. But I had already put in to you know, for my Fridays to be free with, well, I've always had Fridays free for my Tuesdays to be free with Dada. So I have Tuesdays and Fridays because Bling has a minimum of, you have to schedule eight classes a week. So that's like two days. So two days a week with Bling. And so I, I was like, okay, well, Tuesdays or when I have all my repeat students, because I have a lot of students that have classes with me three times a week. And so on Tuesdays, that was the only day of the week where all the students that I had were students that I already see like two other times throughout that week. So I was like, okay, well, we'll just cut that Tuesday. So I'm not losing any students. So, oh, your application is pending with Dada. Okay. Well, you know, I've heard they're still hiring. People message me. I just got a message today where um, a teacher contacted me saying she's having her interview here, I think, later on this week. And she wanted to know about her background. Does she need to have a background up? And then I, I've had a couple teachers contact me last week saying that they were just hired. So, I mean, it's slow. It's so slow. But it's they're, they're still hiring. Erica, my son keep me up at night since I breastfeed him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't miss those days. <laughs> I nurse all my children. I have four. Ooh, I don't miss those days at all. 
Becky, I just started Cambly and loving it. I do have a question. When a student wants to read something, can we follow along? Because I could not find what or where he was reading. Yes. That's a good question, Becky. I need to do a video on this. But so, Becky, what you do is when you go into Cambly and you know how you see them and you see yourself off to the it'll be your left hand side off to your left hand side. There would there's their little profile where you can see their name, where they're from, um, you know, anything like that. Their notes are off to that left hand side right under that. It will say like, uh, I think it says like lesson or messages or something. But right under that, if you click the little drop down carrot, then a whole window opens up. And shh, Jude, don't beat on the table, please. And um, it'll show a lesson. So if they had already chosen a link or a lesson for you to go over to help them, you know, with their pronunciation or reading comprehension skills, then you click that. And then it'll just open up on a, you know, a whole different window. And so what I do is I like, I minimize the cam, the Cambly screen. So that like half my screen is Cambly. And then the, I have a separate window with the article and we read together. So we can read together. If they're able to understand you better, you know, depending on how fluent they are and you can't find it, you can ask them, can you send me the link? And they can send you the link in the chat box and you just click on the link there and at, in the same way you can send them stuff say you pull something up from the internet and you want to send them a link so that they can pull it up then you can just put the link to it in that chat box and then they can click it and they can follow along too so you can have like two windows open when you click it it should open a separate window so cambly will still be open and it'll open a whole different window you know internet a website will come up. Boop. It'll be a website that will pop up that you guys can follow along. Did that did I help you, Becky? I hope that was kind of since you're in the platform. Okay, yes. Okay, yeah. So I figured you would know what that looks like because you can kind of imagine what the platform looks like. Oh yeah, I did like two articles today. There's a lot of students getting ready for their IELTs and they want to take they're getting ready to take their um what is it? They're speaking part of the test and they want help <laughs> on pronunciation, um, having a conversation. So, yeah. OK, wonderful, wonderful. I need to do a video showing on the screen how that looks. I'd have to wait until I have a call where they have it. So I just have to keep my video like my screen recorder ready at all times because we're not able to go back and view pre you know lessons that we've already done this they can they can go back and look at you know the video but we don't have that ability so anything that i have shared with you guys is because i just had my screen recorder on and ready and then i go back and i kind of just clean it up and edit things out that i don't need like a lot of space or whatever so i had so much fun yes priority hours yes becky they come in and you get like five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, eight minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes. It's fun. So I was on priority hours for three hours today. So three hours. So I did like Dada. And then right after Dada, I was like, ah, three hours of priority. And so that was fun. I had some extra hours with Dada today. And then, yeah, you meet so many people. You get an idea of places you want to travel. Yes, Becky. High five, girl. <laughs> so you you're here you know what i'm talking about and it's just like you know how i'm talking to you guys oh, oh you want to give a high five okay he wants to give a high five okay hurry give a high five there you <laughs> go play these are adults talking i'm having an adult conversation i'll come play with you baby i'm i guess i'm cutting into his time i'm telling you he was playing by himself and then suddenly he wanted me because he saw i put the headphones on so, um, yes, just like I'm talking to you guys, that's how you talk when you are tutoring online with Cambly. You just have a conversation. I think I'm going to make sure I didn't miss anything. Sharon, have you looked into iTutor? Uh, no, I have not. <laughs> I have not. My schedule has been like crazy busy because I'm also on Palfish and with Palfish, I've mostly have been getting like 
I don't teach on Palace Pitch. You have the ability to teach, like, you know, with the kids, like classes, but I don't teach on Pal Fish. But I just I'm just on Pal Fish doing like live videos. So they can actually they pay they could pay you or you could do free live videos. I'll show you guys. So I have my phone free. Now Palfish, you can even teach classes on your phone. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Let me go to my Yes, yes. All right, so this is my profile. This is my little profile. So this is me. I have everything's backwards, I think, you guys. I don't know. It's backwards for me, so I don't know if you guys are seeing it backwards. But I have 69 followers. I've only been teaching on here for 3.2 hours. Now, as far as teaching, I haven't taught classes. But when I do my live videos, they count that as teaching. And so, see, here's my, they show you your, where, where we at, lives. So these are the different live videos that I've set up. I did just, I did this one today, just for fun. And so, is this, is this backwards for you guys? For me, everything is backwards. I don't know if it flips it for you guys or not. Can somebody tell me? If it's backwards, this probably is looking, this is probably looking really crazy. Jude, Jude, don't color on that, baby. I need a paper. No one. Well, this is one of my live videos I did today. And you can do a replay. And I just did a chit chat. I just did a chit chat and I did it for free. And so when you do free videos, then it kind of, you know, gets you out there. It spreads awareness. And I've had 18 people. So 18 people tuned in to view my free live. Now, you can even charge money for some. I have several. I did one on how to take care. Oops. Yeah, here we go. How to take care of a puppy. And I made it really cheap, really, really cheap. So if it's really cheap, okay, it's not backwards. Okay, thank you. If it's really cheap, then you like people are like, oh, that's nothing. You will get like a mass, well, you could get a mass amount of people. And you see how I'm able to replay it? This was from last week. It stays in your profile. And so say like a month from now, somebody's looking at my profile and they're like, what is that about? I want to watch it. They would have to pay to be able to watch it and so I would get that money it would pay me because <laughs> I created it for me to watch it and so I just do that for fun you know I YouTube right so if I can YouTube right you know it's just a little extra some extra coins on here and then I help recruit other teachers so I get a referral bonus as well so if you guys want to use my palfish code <laughs> it, that helps me out so, um, yeah, these are like different live videos. So they're, they're fun. And then I did one where I just did, I went Valentine's Day shopping. I only had three that paid for that one. Four people paid for my how to take care of a puppy. I get a bigger response with my free ones. So like that was free. That was like an introduction meeting, Lala. So that's what I do on Palfish. So Sharon, I have not checked out iTutor yet. Between Cambly, Cambly has been popping, okay? So this whole, you know, last week when we didn't have data, I was on Cambly every day. <laughs> every day, making money every day. I got paid yesterday. So you get paid every Monday on Cambly. So I was on Cambly every single day. How fish did not approve me. Not sure what I did wrong. Um, do you recommend I use a different profile? Well, they actually go by your phone number. So if you use a different profile, you'd have to use a whole different phone number. So I don't know. Maybe if you had like a Google Voice, you know how Google Voice can give you numbers that are routed to your phone. Maybe if you open up like a Google Voice account. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because they go by your phone number because you actually, everything you do is on your phone. So when you're tutoring and you press, um, let me show you. I'll show you what that looks like. 
So here's here's my profile. So if I'm ready to start tu tutoring, I'm gonna do this real quick, you guys, and then hopefully nobody. I don't think anybody will be waiting to give me a call this fast. But you just press tutoring, and then the green little light pops up, and then that tells people you're online, kind of like Cambly. And then when you're done, you just press it again. And so what I do is I put my earbuds in, put my phone. Oh, that's how iTutor is. Okay. I just put my phone in my pocket and just wait for the notification to go off. And then when it does, I'm like, well, who is that? <laughs> and then we talk. Most of the time they don't turn their video on and it's just like a conversation. So Wania, I'm going to, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to try to get it done today. I'm going to try to do a video. Is it blurry? Hold on. There we go. I had to make it focus. Sorry. <laughs> you know how sometimes some of these cameras are out of focus. But um, I'm going to try to do a video today on how to get verified. Because they're really picky on verifying accounts. Can you recommend any others? Oh, yeah. I love Cambly. I love Cambly. Um, well, Sharon said iTutor is really good. And Sharon actually shared her iTutor information with me. I just haven't checked it out yet. Um, I just don't want to put too much on my plate. But if it's like Palfish where I can do it like, you know, whenever and not put a lot of thought into it. I don't want to have to do anything that makes me think a lot. <laughs> I have enough. Things that make me think a lot. <laughs> I have enough of that. So, um, Sharon, if you wanted to share your uh, your link on here, I'm not with iTutor. Maybe you can help out, you know, Wania, if, if you're interested. I'm in that process, too. A British woman called me last week and she had a bad connection. Oh, the interviewer? Yes, I would love videos on Palfish and Cambly. Yes, I've been, hopefully you guys have been enjoying my videos where I'm showing you like me in the classroom, having real chats with people. Like that's raw, like raw chats. So the only editing I do is maybe to shorten it up because some of these are like 60 minute conversations or one 30 minute conversation. And I don't think you guys want to be on YouTube watching one thing for like an hour and a half for three conversations. <laughs> so I kind of like gave you guys like the highlights of different conversations, the fun that we have. Yes, Joanne, that's her name. I, remember. I don't know, Sharon, do you know a Joanne from iTutor? Becky, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad that they've been helpful. So yeah, I'm gonna do a video on Palfish on how to get verified because they're really picky. You have to have somebody. Let's see, shy, shy. Uh, how? Hi. Do you have any knowledge on Boxfish Twitter? I don't. I just learned about that. I heard about it like a week and a half, two weeks ago, but I haven't looked into it yet. Boxfish Twitter. I'm gonna look into that and see what that what that's about. Maybe I can ask my circle of people. Anybody have any experience? Anybody here have any experience with box fix box fish tutor for shy? Trying to make sure I'm not missing. Have you applied to Hugh? Is it Hugh Jane? Hugh Hugh Jane? No, I haven't. I haven't applied there. I heard about them. A while ago, but no, I haven't applied there. My husband's his biggest concern is like I'm doing too much. Like he was like, "Okay, look, you stay home to you know for Jude mostly." But I was like, "Okay, money making opportunities, stay home with Jude. Money making opportunities, stay home with Jude." <laughs> and so he doesn't want me to get too like bogged down with stuff. To where, but you know, I would never let anything interfere with my baby Jude or anything else, you know. And I, I just got a, um, my next book is in the publishing stage. Hey, Katura. Hey, girl. Hey. So my next book is in the publishing stage. It's an ABC book. It's an ABC movement book. And it has like real photographs 
in it instead of just illustrations. So I'm excited. I'm waiting for the editors to approve it. And then it'll be, it should be available on Amazon soon. So I want to do that. Thank you, Ania. Yay. And then I've been telling you guys, I want to do an ABC video, something fun, you know, something fun that kind of breaks it up because there's a lot of videos out there, but then you got to like cut it off at a certain point or it's too fast. The concepts are too fast for me to pick up. So I've been working on doing like a video that is a little more EFL online. If you want to be technical, EFL, ESL, online friendly, where we can show our babes a little bit at a time and they can really understand the concepts where they talk a little slower. Because some of them, they talk so fast. And it's just like, have you ever noticed your, the kids mumble like, A is for and B is for Is it true Dada took away standby to pay? People are saying that, but no, I still, I've been getting my standby pay. So no, they still have it. But here's what it is, Wadner, uh, with Dada. A lot of people that say if you have been, if you sit idle for a long period of time and you don't have any bookings for those time periods and you haven't had bookings in those time periods for a long period of time, then what they've been doing is they've been taking that from your contract and then just giving you like less hours. So say on Tuesdays, you teach 1800 to 2110 Beijing time, right? But then you only have one class that you have a regular student for, like 1830. And the rest of your day, you normally sit on standby waiting for trial students. Now, they will take that so that, now they didn't say so they don't have to pay you standby pay, but <laughs> I'm thinking that they, they're taking that time so that they wouldn't have to pay out the standby pay. And then, so if you wanted to put in for part-time hours, you could put in for part-time hours, or you can do the teach more function, but you'd have to have so many part-time hours to be able to do a teach more. So it's a formula behind that, but you can either do teach more or part-time hours. So they're not paying you contracted standby pay, but it's still there. So they haven't came out with anything saying that they took that away. I still get standby pay. So. <laughs> I'm still getting my standby pay. And every day, you know, at the end of the day where they do the, the little pay calculations on the app, which I'm not going to show mine because we're not going to calculate my pay. So <laughs> um, when they do the pay calculations on the app, it always shows like my teaching time. Everything's included in there. So Erica Detry, what does failure mean on our pay? Failure? Uh, oh, you mean like in the, maybe in the, hold on, my thing's not focusing. Is it focusing? Come on. There we go. Failure, like in that others column? Yeah. Uh, I'd have to look at it. I can't remember from the top. Of, I see. Nice drawing, baby. I can't remember from the top of my head. I'll look at it and see. Because I think failure means like if you've had issues, like technical issues, and it caused classes to drop or whatever the, the case may be, interruptions in classes, and they found it to be your fault then that's what failure is. But I'm going to check to see just to be sure. Because since I'm not a mentor anymore, I'm not 100% sure if all the lingo that they used to use is still the same. Erica, you said, I applied for Hujong a while back and I went through the interview and passed and I had to do a live training and I was dealing with my son. Oh, RSV. So I couldn't study the past, but I told my friend. Oh. Um, yeah. I'm not sure how that goes, but yeah, those. And Jude, <laughs> Jude will be the one that he'll be asleep, knocked out cold, and I'll have to go live like today. And then he'll be like, Mom. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, 
hoping that your son is doing much better. I'm not sure how long ago that was. Do you have a preference for any company? Um, I haven't even started teaching in the classroom with Bling. Bling, I would say they are very, very professional, very put together. They make sure that you're super trained before they release you into the classroom. Like you're gonna, they go through everything. They give examples. They even have role playing. They have you do some role playing. So I loved the hiring process for Bling ABC. It's just I haven't started yet because they go by terms. So I can't really speak much on Bling's classroom type, you know, preferences. It's a little nerve wracking because I went from doing one student <laughs> to now with Bling ABC, we do three students at a time, well up to three students at a time and you can move their tiles around. But if any of you are familiar with Magic Ears or if there's any other platform like that, it's the same where you're able to, you know, you have multiple students and you're able to move them around different places. So that for me, that, that took some getting used to with training. But I would say the hiring process, as far as teaching goes, Bling, I mean, hands down, I, I loved it. I enjoyed it. They really make you feel comfortable. Um, I tutor group is great. I just got hired by them two weeks ago. I will start this week. The minimum hours you have to work is 10 hours. The least amount you can make is... 1500 that's that's awesome that's that's awesome i see i don't have 10 hours with the itutor group i think that's why i didn't look into it sharon if you're still on because you asked me have i looked into it yet i don't have 10 hours to spare so but that is wagner that is awesome that could probably help somebody that's looking for you know something Hopefully the interviewing and hiring process isn't too rigorous. And uh, Katora, so bling the, the training, they will make sure you feel comfortable. They will even quiz you, not in like a, a scary way, but like a live. They're like, okay, we'll do this, do that. They make sure you're comfortable. They have somebody available to ask questions. They, um, they converse on Skype. So you have to have Skype. You, ha you have to have Skype. Um, they're super professional and they make sure you're prepared. Whereas with Dada, they don't really have all that training. <laughs> like for me, I don't know if they've changed things since they've eliminated the mentors. But when I started back in 2017, it was like, you're hired. Your start date is... <laughs> But luckily, I've had some experience because I came over from VIP Kid. So I had some experience because if it wasn't for that little bit of experience that I had, I probably would have been like, help, <laughs> help. And that's what inspired me to start my channel. I started my channel, I think, about two months into teaching with Dada. I was like people need help <laughs> and then like i was looking on youtube and there was like really no information on youtube now i'm just like okay there's nothing here dada you know i i've been on since 2017 they were still fairly new i think at that time they were what three years old i think like three years old something like that two three years old and so they were fairly new and there was no content on youtube like nothing so that's what inspired me to start you know, doing these videos, but Dada is way more relaxed. Bling, you have objectives that you have to discuss. So it's a little more formal with Bling, ABC. Oh, I'm so happy, Katura. <laughs> so um, Cambly for adults, I love it. I love it, but I have limited experience, so I'm really biased. <laughs> so I don't really have a favorite. I love Cambly for the adults because it's just, you know, you talk about whatever, you know, anything that's appropriate, of course. And you guys, for the record, I have not had any flashers on Cambly. Hallelujah. And I hope I never do. <laughs> I've heard horror stories with flashers. So that's one thing to keep in mind on Cambly. They have. 
sometimes flashers. I have never experienced that, so I'm grateful. I tutor group has 150 million students. I see, baby. I see. I like your drawing. Nice. Ooh, 150 million students. Wow, they must have been around for a long time. A really long time. Thank goodness for the band button. Yes. <laughs> I've only had to use it one time. One time. And it was actually with the kid. I tried to give the little boy chances. 20 years. Okay, so iTutor's been around for 20 years. Oh, so they know. They know the game. They know the game inside and out. <laughs> they're they're the dinosaur of the game. Um, yeah, that band button, Becky, I've used it one time, and I was with the kids. So Camly does have a band button. If they're just being completely inde indecent, you can actually ban them from using the Camly service at all. And then you put in a reason as to why, and the Cambly team will look into it. And I did it with the kid. I tried to give him a chance. It was a five-minute trial. First, he tried to act like he didn't hear me. He looked like he was about 14, you know, between 12 and 14. And I think he was just playing around on his phone. And you could tell that he was at home, and he was looking around. That he, so his parents didn't see. And he kept looking around like this. And he was acting like he was like, can't hear you. You know, he didn't say anything, but he was just like. So I was just talking. I was friendly. And then middle fingers, middle fingers came up and I acted like I couldn't see. So I just played stupid. I was like, oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? What's your name? I just kept on just playing stupid. So then he wanted to put his middle finger closer into the camera because he wanted me to see what he was doing. And I said, oh, finger. Can you say finger? <laughs> You can just imagine how pissed off this kid was because he couldn't get the best of me. So I used his whole little five minute trial. Up. It was a trial. I used up all his five minutes. So I got paid for five minutes. And then at the end of that, ban. And I put why. <laughs> so I'm, I think he just created an account so he can just be silly, immature. That's the only time I've ever had to use the ban button. So hopefully I wouldn't have to use it any other times. So anybody else have any questions for me? You said to look up what um, failure meant. Hold on, let me look. Personal. I'm going to look it up for you. You know, I haven't even, I've been so busy. I forgot to even check my salary for January. I didn't even look. I forgot it was even up. See, my failure time is always zero. Okay, one time I had like a negative six. But that was like, that was the last time I had a failure time was January of last year. <laughs> so... I'm not really sure. I think it's like if the if there's classroom failure and it's your fault. If they find it to be your fault, like if you had internet connection issues and it was not the, you know, their customers, client, whatever, their fault, and you are found at fault for it, then they would um that's what that failure time is. Because mine always says zero. This is my first time seeing my July, my January pay. Yay, I'm happy. Woohoo. It's actually more than I thought it was going to be. It's not always great. I, <laughs> I always try to round low. So I have low expectations. It was more than what I thought it was. Today's my first day looking. I forgot. I completely forgot. You should try native. They pay every day. Magic ears is horrible. <gasps> they don't hire people of color. We got play. Oh, you know native Wagner. I, you know, uh, when was it? These the end of December. The end of December, maybe like after Christmas. I did apply at native. It was like around Christmas time, something like that. That's when I first heard about it. You know, when I did the video, when I did the video with all the different companies, that's when I applied. I was like, what is this native? 
And so when I did the video with all the different companies, I applied it native and then they kind of put my application in like a waiting pool. They said they have all the teachers at this time, but, and they said they need to, they said once they launch the platform, because at the time the platform wasn't la launched yet, they said once they launched the platform, then they will begin hiring again based on the need. So if, they, if they're hiring again, they didn't call me back. So, <laughs> so I applied it native before I applied at Bling ABC. And I got the email like the next day. They responded real quick. And then in January, I was invited to like a native group call. And they were just talking about how the company is expecting growth and giving some, you know, insight on the company, you know, so they seem like they're pretty on it. So I hope that they grow and meet their expectations or exceed it. They, they seem, you know, really nice starting off. So Watner, tell me, is, um, is Native hiring again? And they just didn't call me? What's up with that? They never called me or emailed me. But I did apply there before I applied at Bling. And then they said that they've met their, they said they met their quota, but I would be put in the pool. Probably like, that's probably what some of you guys have seen. The little email you got applying for data. We've met our quota. But Native said that, you know, they said, we're just, I forgot what the email looked like, but they explained about them just starting off. They want to make sure that teachers have enough students and so they're going to halt the hiring process. Uh, Becky, I do have another question. What type of material do you personally upload for helping the students on Canvas? Do you just dog. use what they have? I'm mostly Mom, like 90. The, dog? uh, the dogs are running around outside, baby. They're just running. We'll let them in when I'm when I'm done. Um, I use 90% what they have on Cambly. Now, if a student just tells me like off the fly, oh, well, I'm interested okay. in this then I might just open up another window and search online, like type it into the, you know, the search engine thing. And then maybe if I can pull up an article or even a picture, like some people, if you can have them describe a picture, some of them want to work on descriptions using adjectives, verbs, you can pull up anything. Most, I use 90, probably 95% of what Cambly offers. And then I would probably say, yeah, about 95% of what Cambly offers. And then every once in a while, I'll pull a little something up myself and give them the link so that we can follow along together. But no, I don't put a lot of effort and homework into it. I don't have time for that. That's why I said I want, if I'm going to do anything extra, I want it to be like fun money, fun money. Like I don't really have to think, think, think hard about it. So that's the thing that I love about Cambly. You don't really have to, if you, if you can carry on a conversation, like I'm carrying on with you guys. If you can carry on a conversation, you will be successful on Cambly. And if you know correct pronunciation, if you can carry on a conversation and you know how to switch out of casual conversation mode and formal mode, <laughs> if you can, if you know how to switch, you'll be successful on Cambly. Mine Mine said 23, but I was wondering why I just sent salary a message. Oh, negative 23. Yeah. I don't know what the number means, but like a year ago, I, I had like a negative six. And I know during that time it was internet. I know it was internet stuff because we had some storms that I remember like last January, it was like the kids were almost, I think they were, they didn't even go back to school when they were supposed to go back to school after break because we were having storms and my internet was a little tore up. So... I believe it's due to classroom internet failure, connection failure. And they, if you are at fault, then yeah, you'll get dinged for it. Okay, so now I have a student requesting me on WhatsApp. How disappointing after two hours of tutoring yesterday. Ah, so a, a student found you outside of, was it on, on of Cambly? Wania, you said it. So a student found you outside of Cambly and they're requesting you. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? I hope that does not happen to me because I will not respond. Inbox me. in. Oh, inbox me in Cambly. 
Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. <laughs> yeah, you get some crazy requests. And then some, I had one guy say, he's poor. Can I tutor him outside of Camry for free? I'm like, no. No. <laughs> I just told him, I was like, Perhaps when you're ready to come back to Cambly, I'll be here. I just kept it as that. Like, no, we're not doing no free anything. No, no. <laughs> it marks me and ask if we could speak. Yes, on WhatsApp. Yes. I've had them ask, um, do you have WeChat? Do you have? No, you have Skype. Not for you, darling. No. <laughs> no, I don't use Skype. No, I use Cambly. I use Cambly. I be I'm really nice about it. My rating on Cambly is a 4.97. I'm at a 4.97. I was at a um, you know, starting off and I was just like, you know, kind of navigating and there was probably a little bit of dead space because like what? Trying to figure stuff out. I was at a 4.84. The highest score is 5.0. Then I went up to a 4.9. Now I'm at a 4.97. Right, Wania. Yeah, like I'm here as a as a professional. We're not going to do the little chit chat stuff. You'll probably get guys that are gonna ask you, can they send you stuff? Can they have your address, your phone number? Some of these guys, I think they they forget this is not a dating site. <laughs> this is not a dating site. If you call in just to stare at me while you're practicing your English then go ahead and stare at me. But there's not going to be nothing inappropriate and no extracurricular outside of Cambly. Same for me. They hired 1,475 teachers. They still got over 5,000 teachers waiting to be interviewed. I'm teacher number 3382. How do you know your teacher number? I'm going to have to check my email. I'm going to go back to that email and see, did they give me a teacher number? Or if I'm if I'm over the five thousand, maybe I don't know. I don't think I got a teacher number. <laughs> they didn't like me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I was late because I, I I think a lot of people tried to jump on native. Wow. So they hired. They so they only have one thousand four hundred seventy five now. Well, that's crazy. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see about NATO. I'll keep an eye on it for you guys and see if I hear anything back. Okay. Uh, how long does it take for you to get your rating? Every Wednesday. That's a good question, Becky. Every Wednesday it updates. So every Wednesday you'll get your newly updated rating. So the people, you know, if they choose to rate you, which Cambly encourages them to rate the, their tutors. And so on Wednesdays, they will give you an update of your average. And so, like, uh, I, I don't pay attention to it until Thursday because I don't know what time on Wednesday it updates. The company itself, Cambly, is actually in the United States. The station, I think, is San Francisco. So it's a United States company. Their station, like, in their headquarters is in, like, San Francisco or something like that. So whoever thought of Cambly, smart, smart, smart. So they're they're here in the U.S. Um, so every Wednesday you will get your new update. So right now I'm at four point nine seven. Let me see if I can show you guys. I I normally get on my phone. You can't tutor on your phone with Cambly. You can with Palfish, and someone said you can with iTutor, but you cannot with Cambly. You have to be on a computer or a laptop. You can't do it on a tablet. You cannot do it on your phone. So, and if you do, then you're not supposed to. <laughs> you're not supposed to. So let me, I'll pull it up so I can show you guys. My rating. Yeah. I love showing people instead of just telling people. So you guys know the real deal. I have family in San Fran. And I would love to go there and meet them. Okay, that answers my question. Thanks again. Oh, no, that's what I'm here for questions. Don't be sorry for the questions, girl. That's why I'm here. I'm here for questions. <laughs> uh, I forgot my, okay. I had a, 
brain fart. I forgot my Cambly password just that quick. Jude, go play, baby. I know this is taking longer than I thought. Oh, that's why. I was like, what is going on? I misspelled my email. Jude, stop, baby. You got to get the right email first and foremost. Duh. Okay. Am I missing any other questions? Widener, they will start interviewing teachers again late this month or March. Okay. Becky, have you had any returns? Have I had any returns? Uh, have I had any returns on what? I don't know if I said something and hey, I don't know what I what I was talking about earlier. You said have I had any returns? Ah, come on. What am I doing wrong? Do Camly give you lessons to teach? If they have a library, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot the phone looks way different than, so it's not going to show me my rating on the phone. I have to get on the laptop. Okay, but they have a library. So here's a list of all the people that I've chatted with today. So this is just today. These are all the people that I've chatted with today. So this is the past seven days. So the last one prior to today was the ninth. That's the last time I hopped on. So for today, it shows you all the people that you talk to. You can message them. You can send them private messages. Well, Cambly private inbox messages. Okay. And they have a library that you can go to. And they have all different types of articles and things that you can Oh, this is pretty cool. There you go. When he doesn't open his Happy Meal toys right away, I save them for my students. And so, here, you found it. There you go, baby. Go ahead. Don't break it. Um, they do have a library, Wagner, where you can pull articles or hey, students can pull articles and share them with you. Okay. Go, go, go play with the case. But they don't have, like, lessons that you have to teach it could be just free talk but they do provide a whole library full of them so like here if i if i click library i wonder if it'll pull up yeah so they have different categories this looks weird for me hold on there we go so they have different categories that you can choose from and you just click any of these they have so many different categories and whatever you want to do, or if you, sometimes the students, they don't, the tutor, the, uh, the people being tutored, they don't know what they want. They, they don't have the slightest idea what they want to go over. They just want help with their English. So by asking them questions, you can kind of get an idea. Oh, okay. Well, let's, let's talk about this today. Or I have an article about animals. You like animals? Or if they say, um, I work in customer service, I need to learn English, but they don't know where to start. You can pull up. They even have role playing type things. So like joining the gym, they got small talk type things. So they have a bunch of stuff available for you. And you can add, say you found a cool article and you want to add it to the Cambly library for other tutors to use. You could do that too. So that's what they provide for you. I hope that answers your question, but they don't have like lesson plans that you have to follow and levels and all that. It's really based on what they want, what they want. My camera's acting wonky, you guys. There we go. <laughs> it's okay, Erica. You said sorry about Snapchatting. Becky, I like students. Mom, I like got students who requested you again. I see, baby. Um, anybody that you tutor, even if you tutor them for two minutes, you can message them. So what I have done, 
um, after my tutoring or whatnot, in between class, in, in between sessions, if I have time, I try to send them a quick message. I enjoyed our conversation about blah, blah. Have a great day. Or I hope to see you soon. Like if, if it's somebody that was really interesting and we really, you know, just meshed very well, then I'll, you can even send them your schedule link so that they can keep track of your schedule so that when you put in for priority hours or whatnot, they can book you. And then I've had some people say, oh, I put you in my favorites. So I guess they get to favorite teachers that they really like or tutors that they really like that they want to tutor, have tutor them again. But yeah, I have some regulars. I wish I could, you know, what? I think I can pull it up on here. You guys can see my regulars. Yeah, I think I could. Let me go. I have some people that regularly book me based off of, you know, what I have available. Okay, on the phone, it's completely different than it does on the computer. But I put in my availability. And then you'll have people that book you based off of your availability. Now, if you don't have people that like reserve, they call it reserve, have people that reserve blocks of your time, but you sign up for what's called priority hours, you're still going to get calls. So whoever's online, especially if they don't specify a tutor and they just log in waiting for somebody to pick them up. If you're on priority hour, then, and you're the next available tutor, it'll just send you a call. You just send. So it's kind of like being on the phones at a call center, you know, like the next available caller, you get that caller. So it's like that with Cambly. But most of the time I've been with Cambly for what, a little over three weeks now. And I think I've built up enough of a reputation where people are actually requesting me. Anytime I have priority hours, people request me. So I'm getting a lot of requests. I get messages almost every day. I'm getting messages from people. I'm getting reserved time blocks from people I haven't even tutored yet. So I have reserved time for next week and I haven't even tutored some of these people. I'm just like, who is this? And I don't know. So I'm not sure what they see on their end as far as like reputation with tutors, but they could request you again, or they can message you. Can you open up time slots? I would like for you to tutor me and they'll send you a message. So that's nice. Do Camly take taxes out of your check? No. And they only pay by PayPal. So they only pay by PayPal and they just deposit it right on into there and you're responsible from there. So that's one of the, you know, the drawbacks, PayPal. I just, I can't stand it, <laughs> but they pay by PayPal. But uh, from what I've seen, whatever they deposit, that's the, I get that whole amount back. So I don't know if it, if you have to reach a certain amount before PayPal takes a percentage because PayPal hasn't been taking anything out of my pay nothing whatsoever. So the exact dollar amount that Cambly sends me into my PayPal, I'm able to pull that exact dollar amount out and transfer it into my bank account. So I, I don't know. I'm not really 100% on how PayPal just, you know, uses their discretion on who they're going to charge or not, but they only pay by PayPal and they don't take taxes out. Can I get your referral code, please? I have applied, but still no response. Should I reply again? Are you referring to Cambly? You replied to Cambly and still no response? Let me pull it up here. I'm doing a little split screen here. There are some people like, uh, Becky, I think you're one of my referrals if you're still on here. Yeah, you're working. You're teaching now. Or no, is it Wania? Which, which one? Let me see. Who is it? Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Oh, Wania. Yeah, there we go. Wania. Let's go. So yeah, you're teaching. I think you. I think I saw you on my list of referred teachers. Yay. Okay, I'm going to give you my my link. There was one teacher that commented on my video that it took her three weeks to hear something back. So I don't know how long ago it's been since you've applied. 
I think a lot of teachers or, you know, educators are trying to get things squared away with spring break coming up for money making opportunities and summertime. This is the time of year where people start thinking, you know, summer, what am I going to do in the summer? Trying to get summer ready. So they've probably been flooded. Lately, people have been saying that it's been taking two to three weeks for them to hear anything back. So let me find that here. Here we go. Okay, hopefully it copies here. I have emailed them and I haven't replied. Oh, you said more than a month ago. Okay. Ooh. Well, there's my link. So yeah, I would say re reapply again because people that have used my link and they've applied like two weeks or so ago, they've already gotten their account approved. So it doesn't hurt to reapply. And then if after a week, maybe two, if you don't hear anything, you can contact them. You know, they're on social media. They're on Facebook. I think they're even on Instagram. You can con like inbox them, private message them like, you know, this is my second time applying. I haven't heard anything in my Twitter name, blah, 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 email. And then some teachers have said like after doing that within a couple of days, within a matter of days, their accounts were approved. You're welcome, Karen. You're welcome. All right, you guys. I said initially it was going to be a short <laughs> little question and answer thing. Um, I hope P PayPal sends you a 1099. Oh, do they? Okay, well, that's good. Because I don't, Dada doesn't pay me through PayPal. They send, they pay me through my bank account. So I just had to keep track of, you know. I did a, a printout of all my Dada deposits for 2018, but I didn't know PayPal sends you a 1099. How, how helpful. Okay. Well, there you go. I think it was Wagner. Wagner, if you were looking on how to do that, how to keep track of that, PayPal will send you a 1099. All right, you guys, you guys are wonderful. Thank you for supporting my channel and for the conversation, this hour went by so fast. Like, you guys are like my friends. You're all my friends. We just sat here. We we talked. <laughs> but yeah, never feel bad for asking me questions. That's what I do. Is my channel is to help teachers be successful. You know, so I'm here to give you guys as much information as possible. I'm going to do that pal pal fish. You know, um, how to get verified video. I'm going to do that one. And I think it was Wani, I think you were the one that asked for that, the Powfish video. And today I was, I've been editing a video on how to do lives. Once you get into pay, pay, uh, Powfish, some people have been asking, okay, I'm in, I'm in now. What do I do? <laughs> so it's a like a quick, like five minute or less. I think it's like three, five, three minute video on how to create live events on Palfish and make money that way. So I haven't made much, but I've made like $30 just sitting here like this chatting. And I've, you know, here and there just doing live videos and they can even send you donations. I've had like a couple of people that sent me like extra money. Like I only charge like a very little bit and they just, in the middle of me having my live, they sent through extra money. I was like, oh, well, thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, if they like it, they can really, they can send you some extra money. You can really earn some money. And so they'll give you the guidelines on things that you have to follow. You know, I can't send people to my YouTube channel. You can't send people to your social media. But, you know, you can talk about a whole lot of things. So, free talk. You can do lessons. Saturday, I'm doing one on onomatopoeias. I thought that would be fun. That's 